Two sisters with a shared determination and uncompromising vision are the driving force behind a new film that has a backstory almost as remarkable as the one on screen. For tonight's Indigenous Circle, CTV's Donna Sound takes us to Monkey Beach. Contacting the dead. Lesson one, concentrate on nothing. A feature film, 20 years in the making. I'm so stunned that it, that it's in the world. That's how long it took to bring Eden Robinson's award-winning novel, Monkey Beach, to the big screen. They are long gone. It's the story of a young woman struggling with her supernatural abilities. The very first incarnations of Monkey Beach uh, were <laughs> a series of stories that mom told me when I was a kid. You are gifted. Eden had a lot of help to get here, especially from her sister, Carla Robinson, who was the executive producer on the film. It was pretty magical. This dynamic duel faced many challenges bringing the story to life. At first, no one believed in the project and turning the remote Kitimat village of the Haisla people in northern BC into a movie set was no small feat. But there was no other way. Monkey Beach is a character. Um, the Pacific Northwest is a character in the movie. And it was like, it, you just can't get a stand-in actor <laughs> for that. Director Loretta Todd says it's a story about empowerment. It's about um, Indigenous women embracing their medicine. Lisa, the main character, I mean, she goes on this journey um, so that she can, you know, truly embrace the power that she has within her. Monkey Beach is touring the festival circuit, recently opening the Vancouver Film Festival, and will be in theaters across Canada soon. Jared, your life belongs to no one but you. The sisters have teamed up again, turning Eden's novel, The Son of a Trickster, into a six-part TV series. Fighting it only makes it worse. Donna Sound, CTV News, Toronto.